Hey guys, today I have some Gran Turismo 6. Uh, this is my first video in Gran Turismo 6. Actually, it'll be my second video. I'll release my uh, track guide one before this. This is my second video in Gran Turismo 6, my first race, and I am at the Daytona International Speedway. Uh, I did a video on this in Gran Turismo 5. I'm just using this to see the uh, difference within the two games. Yeah, I actually much prefer Gran Turismo 6. I believe the I think the career mode is uh, much better spaced out, it's much easier to navigate. I believe the whole game is just much easier to navigate. Uh, and I actually really do like it. It's probably one of my favourite games. Also got F1 2013 Classic Edition. Uh, I'll be bringing out a couple of videos of that. I might bring up a video of that before this one. I don't know. I haven't sorted out a schedule yet. I'm sorry. Anyway, this uh, Mercedes SLS GT3. Um, I'm going around the high banks of Daytona. The Daytona International Speedway. The road circuit and 170 miles an hour. As you can see, first place is 15.9 seconds ahead of me. Uh, I... This is the professional difficulty on the arcade races. This is the hardest difficulty that you can uh, get. And I feel already that it is actually much harder than Gran Turismo 5. I managed to lose a bit of time through that section as you saw up there on the uh, split time. 16.6 .6 seconds now behind. And I have a feeling I'm not going to win this race because that's second and third up ahead of me battling for position. And I don't know what the first car's in, but it must be something really good. Look, 19.7 seconds. They're just sprinting away. I have no idea what the hell they're in. That's not going to help my cause going wide in the grass and the braking for the first turn. And, oh, oh, I've lost a lot of places there. I'm down in sixth. And that's really how quickly a race can change. Uh, this, uh, it sort of like really, um, they line up behind you and they really punish you for anything that you may do wrong. And I feel the AI on this is a little bit more, um, combative. You can see there on the trioval just in front of me, first place, they're miles away. I've no idea what the hell they're in, but it's certainly not that fair because they're faster everywhere than me. But I may be having a big battle here. I'm in sixth place, breaking for the last hairpin of the international section. Try to go around the outside and manage to stick that. But here we go, they're 29 seconds ahead. Uh, that's extraordinary. It's almost like Sebastian Vettel this season. Uh, but um, just completely dominating. Someone else is dominating this time and it isn't me. That's extraordinary. Look, that's 30.4 seconds now. And as I'm in the draft of second and third as we break for the bus stop chicane in the middle of the back stretch, and I am in second place riding the grass a little bit round the outside. But as we come through the chicane, 31.6 seconds ahead of me is first place. There's no way on earth that I'm going to catch them. So it'll just be a race between me and and third and fourth place now. It used to be second and third, but they're now third and fourth. It looks like uh, that they're that I'm faster than them. It looks like that I'm going to beat them easily, but I'm never going to catch first place 33.932 seconds ahead. You can see them, they're just finishing the uh, international section and I'm just starting it. That's a massive lead that they've got there. They might be. This might just be an anomaly in the race that I've got or it might actually be some uh, glitch. This is the first arcade race that I've done. It may just be some glitch that you get one car that is vastly overpowered compared to everyone else's. But 1 minute 50 is roughly coming round the circuit here and that's wide on the kink in the international horseshoe. Breaking enough just managed to get on the track for the uh, that right hand or hairpin there, but the peop third place really isn't going away. It's just going to be. It's just sticking there as we come out of the last hairpin of the international horseshoe section. Able to accelerate onto the high banks of Daytona. They're 42.4 seconds ahead the first place car. There's no way that I'm going to catch them unless they just crash and kill their engine and their car and they're not able to continue the race. That's the only hope that I've got in actual win this race. Third place is far behind me. 
as I break for the bus stop chicane for the final time. The left, right, followed by breaking slightly for the right and the left. Oh, almost lost control there, almost lost the back end. 44 and a half seconds ahead is the uh, first place car. He'll be finished his race back now as we come out of Daytona NASCAR turn four and on to the onto the uh, front straight. There we go. Uh, a bit of a, a exciting race for a second there, but there's no way in hell that I was going to catch first. But thank you for watching and goodbye.